In this video, we are going to discuss about JSP Lifecycle Pages. JSP stands for Java Server Page. Java Server Page. JSP is mainly useful in order to develop web application. JSP Lifecycle, uh, any JSP program is executed by using these seven pages. The first page is translation of JSP page. The second phase is compilation of JSP page. Third page is class loading phase. Fourth one is instantiation phase. Fifth one is initialization phase. Sixth one is request processing phase. Seventh one is destruction phase. Any JSP program is executed by web server or web container. So we have web server or web container. So it will take the responsibility of executing the Java JSP program. Okay. The best example for the web server is we have Apache Tomcat web server. So likewise several other web servers are there. Now let us see all these phases one by one. So the first phase is translation of JSP page. Okay. Here we have a program called JSP translator. JSP translator is part of web server or web container. JSP translator translates JSP page into servlet page. Okay. Let the name of the file is like this index.jsp uh, let we have created a page called index.jsp page it contains some code okay so jsp translator takes the responsibility of translating jsp page into a servlet page we know the extension for the servlet servlet is nothing but a normal java program only so jsp translator translates this jsp page into servlet page so it translates like this index underscore jsp dot java so this is nothing but a servlet which is created by the jsp translator let name of the file is yard yard dot jsp then yard dot jsp is translated into yard underscore jsp dot java by the jsp translator okay now let us see the second page the second page is compilation of JSP page. So we know that compilation is done by the Java compiler. So now Java compiler uh, compiles the, the servlet program. Okay. So index underscore JSP dot Java. So that program will be internally compiled by the compiler. Okay. We know that compiler produces the bytecode. So bytecode is nothing but the class file. So index underscore JSP dot Java is to be compiled and it produces index underscore jsp dot class file here these two things are done internally by the uh, yeah translation is done internally by the jsp translator as well as compilation is done internally by the java compiler okay we should not uh, perform those two activities okay so this is about uh, compilation of the jsp page and the next one is class loading page class loading page so once the class file is generated then whenever we have started the web server whenever we started some apache tomcat web server then web server loads the corresponding class file into the main memory dynamically at the time of the execution so whenever we have started the web server whenever we have started the tomcat web server then tomcat web server loads this class file index underscore jsp dot class file that class file will be loaded into the main memory dynamically okay so this is about class loading page so loading the class file into the main memory dynamically at the time of the execution now let us see about the next page instantiation we know what is instantiation. Instantiation is 
the process of creating an object okay so after loading that uh, class file into the main memory after that an object will be created for the corresponding class uh, let us see about the next phase that is nothing but uh, initialization phase first let's see what is the prototype of the initialization phase here the prototype is like this uh, uh, public void underscore jsp init so jsp means lower case letters init in init i is upper case letters we know the naming conventions for a method in java okay method always starts with lower case letter and the first letter of every inner word begins with upper case letter okay so in init i is upper case letter remaining all are lower case letters so this is the prototype here underscore jsp init so this is the name of the method here uh, initialization pace the name itself specifies the meaning it is mainly useful for initialization purpose so it assumes that uh, by using jsp program we want to connect to the database so we need to write the code for establishing the database connection so that uh, establishment uh, database connection code so that should be written in this jsp init method so initialization pace is useful in order to write the code for establishing the connection with the database how many times this uh, initialization method will be executed how many times underscore jsp init method will be executed only one time initialization will be done okay that is uh, whenever we have started the uh, corresponding application whenever we have started the server so after loading of the class file into the main memory after instantiation automatically initialization will be done so this method will be executed only once now let us see the next method so that is request processing pace request processing pace it is mainly useful in order to write uh, the major code in order to write the request processing logic uh, assumes that we want to add two numbers so that is our program so sum is equal to a plus b so that statement will be written here okay here the prototype of this uh, request processing page is like this so public void underscore jsp service method underscore jsp method okay it is mainly useful for writing the uh, corresponding logic so assume that uh, we can perform uh, various operations on the database we can create the table we can uh, insert a row into the table we can perform deletion operation updation operation so all those logics will be written in this uh, request processing page in this uh, underscore jsp service method all those statements will be placed so how many times request processing page will be executed here the request processing page will be executed multiple times that depends upon the number of requests from the client machine suppose if the client has generated 10 requests then this jsp service method will be executed 10 times suppose let us assume that client put 100 requests then this method will be executed 100 times here uh, request processing pace mainly accept two parameters the first parameter is request parameter the second parameter is response parameter request parameter is mainly useful in order to get the input from the jsp page or html page uh, let html page contains uh, uh, a some text box b some text box let a value is 10 b value is 20 so in order to get this value we use just the request object so request dot get parameter of a so that this value will be retrieved okay whereas response object is mainly useful in order to provide response to the client okay after performing the entire request processing logic we need to send the result to the client like sum is equal to 30 so that response should be delivered to the client so that is done with the help of the response object now let us see the last phase that is destruction phase after performing all the operations we have to destroy the memory which was allocated for the corresponding object so that should be done in this destruction phase it is useful in order to 
close the database connections okay after doing all the logics we have to close the database connection cyn dot close or statement dot close st dot close uh, we have to write all those logics in the destruction phase let us see the prototype of this phase so public void underscore jsp destroy underscore jsp destroy okay so this is the prototype here so it is mainly useful in order to destroy the memory which was allocated for the corresponding object how many times destruction phase will be executed here the destruction phase will be executed only once so after performing all the operations we need to stop the server so whenever we have stopped whenever we stopped the tomcat web server then automatically this uh, this destruction phase will be executed so here the point is initialization and destruction will be done only once whereas request processing phase so that is executed that depends upon the number of requests so this is about the phases of jsp lifecycle